your deal on four. 22 boxes. A quarter of a million pounds. Just one question. Welcome to Deal or No Deal. Hello, uh, welcome. Uh, I'm still getting over yesterday's game with Michael. Just when we thought, oh, that's great, he's dealt at 17,000, that's a good amount of money. Then the banker gave him the gamble at the end. You see, you had to be there to the very end. And if he had taken the gamble, he'd have gone away with 50,000 pounds. Fantastic game yesterday, proving you can't dip in and out with this. You've got to be in for the next 45 minutes, settle down. Here come the names. Oh, get ready. This is going to be the fastest 45 minutes of your life. Kyle? Yes! Yeah! How are you? Take a seat. I'm very good. Thank yeah. you, Carl. Welcome Thank to your you. game. Carl Glazebrook from Stoke Newington in London, a tiler and decorator. That's right. <laughs> I can't tile to save my life. <laughs> I hate tiling. You just get the thing absolutely right, and then you've got to do that little bit out of there, and then a bit breaks off. That's right. <laughs> How long have you been doing uh, uh, tiling? Uh, must be that three, four years now. Yeah. I like this story. You... You were a bit of a knight in shining armour, weren't you? You rescued a lady who had a slight problem. Yes, yeah. Come uh, tell us all the story. It's got a little bit of sauce in us. <laughs> <laughs> I was decorating the outside of a house, and um, I heard this scream and the door just slam, and I thought, oh. Um, and I just ran round the front, and this poor lady, who was in uh, minimum clothing... Uh, had locked herself out of the oh, front come on, door. Do better than that. <laughs> she was in her underwear. She was in her underwear and she'd locked herself out of the front. I think getting a paper or the milk. Uh, <laughs> so I wasn't the milkman that day. And um, so I, I just uh, ran and got, ran to my van. I uh, didn't know whether to get the camera or the uh, dust sheet. <laughs> I'm glad I went for the latter and got the dust sheet, threw it over, and then uh, went round the side and got in the house that way. Oh, yeah. what a gentleman! <laughs> Have a look at this picture. Oh, the love of your life. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> love it. That's Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster. Yes, our uh, almost three now, our uh, English bulldog. She's gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. You know, you've already got something in common with the banker. Really? Well, he's got two of those. Brilliant. Oh, good, good. Because they're not everybody's cup of tea. No, they're not. You look at the face and you think, oh, but, um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you could look at the face and go, ugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're, they're very good with children, very loyal, and um, what I like about them is you can take them for a walk and then when you come home, they just snore away and relax. So it fits in my lifestyle quite well. Yeah. <laughs> the two of you are lying there snoring away. <laughs> and now a story to go with this, no doubt. Yeah, it's my gorgeous wife, Louise. Um, we were married about three years ago on a uh, New Year's Eve, which was exactly a year after I proposed to her in uh, New York, in Central Park, on a, a horse-drawn uh, carriage. And uh, You are a slush bucket. <laughs> <aren't you? laughs> I like it. I'll, I'll, I'll be on romance. I like things like really? that. Really? Oh, yes, oh, yes. Oh, no, I like that very much. Oh, good. Well, well, she couldn't be here. No, no. But I'm a big believer in fate, as you'll see later in my game. Mm. So, um... If she's not here, it's one one brain I get to listen to, uh, rather than one and a half. Oh. It was all going so well. Ooh. 
that's from earlier in the show. No, you know, I'll, I'm probably already in the doghouse. So uh... with the dog. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I need you please to confirm you chose box number three at random before the game began. I did not. It yes, is sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all 22 boxes and is the only person who knows where the money is. Kyle, good luck. Have a great game. Thank you. Come on then, where are we starting? Um, basically, um, the the man I, or person I most respect in life is my dad. Um, he always taught me uh, manners, make of the man. So I'm going to go ladies first, left, all across. Ooh. And that's, that's, that's it. And then gents, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. <laughs> um, so please, uh, Michelle, um, thank you very much if you'd like to open number 21. Good luck, Kyle. Fifteen. Okay. It's all right. It's all right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Trace, thank you. Best of luck, man, Kyle. Thanks as well. Yeah! Lovely yeah. man. Lovely Mary. Thank you. Thank you. All the best. Thank you very much. though it's the ripple effect because normally they, they, they don't know where you're going you know we get some players who will stand here and then say a number that's behind them and then it's like oh, oh, oh. but already donna was just she's just doing her hair <laughs> i'm ready yeah she's just flicking the hair thinking it's going to be me after mary <laughs> look chaps is getting ready there oh yes yes okay oh, um donna yes please oh i hope it's the voodoo that's okay. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Right, so we got to Donna. Donna. And so completing you your much, opening girl. round, it's Chaps. Done brilliantly. Thank you. Good luck, Kyle. Chaps, please, thank you very much. I'll try my best. Good luck. Five grand. Oh, that's a really, that's really good. Lovely. That's a good opening round. Lovely. I couldn't have wished for anything better. You could have wished for something better. Yeah, you, could, could, yeah. you could have had the top left-hand side, but the banker always says if he was playing the game, he would go top right and yep. take out all the low reds. You've had three of them and two blues, and you both like bulldogs. I think this is going to be a loving. <laughs> I think you okay. and the, you and the banker have so much in common. Hello. Oh, <laughs> Kyle, my brother. Oh. oh. Do you want a quick word about dogs? No, no, go on, you have a quick word. Uh, and, and he'll do your bathroom as well. Oh, Just get the dog thing over and done with. Good afternoon, sir. The Cookie Monster is the name. <laughs> he's just told you that he's a Scrooge and Marley. Scrooge and Marley. Great name. <laughs> Bankers' dogs are called Scrooge and Marley. Thank you very much, Mr. Humbug. Thank you. Silver Blaze is my favourite story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. We better get on with the show. We, we've got, yeah. we've got a game to play here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Yes. Well, you might as well get an offer out of him. Oh, sorry. Be that difficult to work out. Eleven grand. Eleven. Thank you very much. Twelve and a half thousand. What, what was going on there? What was the silver blaze? Sorry, we we're chatting about Sherlock Holmes. Ah, sorry, yeah. Um, the way one does. <laughs> no, I'm a big Sherlock Holmes fan as well. I uh, love the stories, always have. And we're just chatting about different cases. He asked me what my favourite one was. And um, mine's uh, Silver Blaze. It's the one about a racehorse. 
and uh, apparently your opening offer is twelve and a half. Twelve and a half thousand pounds. Right. Uh, it's a good offer, but I just see those reds in front of me. Um, I think I'm ready for the question now. Kyle, twelve and a half thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank yeah. you. Girls, by the way, that was brilliant. Thank you, uh, Kate. Thank you very much. Welcome to the game. Thank you, now. Good luck, Kyle. Thank you. Well, it was a good opening, but yep. thirty-five thousand revealed. That's all right. That's all right. Thank you very much. You. Lovely Shirley. Thank you very much. Thank you. Could you please get up there, top left? That's what we need. Okay. One P coming up. Yes. So you're a massive fan of Sherlock Holmes. I am a big fan. Yeah. You know his address in London. Two two one B Baker Street. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if anything to do with that. Do you yeah. know what happened? When Sherlock Holmes, you're a painter and decorator, yeah. type, when he painted the outside of the house, do you know what happened? No, I don't know. When you come back, you see the look of surprise on his face. Do come back. amount happened in that break because they've turned up yeah you've Fantastic. got your wife and yes. friends have turned up they're yep. stuck in traffic but they're here for the next part of your game which has yes. been going incredibly well without them yes that's right no <laughs> pressure guys so would you like to do the introductions uh, my gorgeous wife louise hello louise hi how are uh, you very well thank you good joe our friend and hello. alex hi hello. friend do they know your system um i don't think so no well he's been very polite yeah and he, he always says, well, actually, you can bear this out. Is he polite to ladies? Yeah, very. Yeah? Chivalrous and... Uh, yeah, opens doors. Fantastic. That's why he's starting ladies first. Ah, oh, OK. So we've worked our way along there, and Jeanette will be the next box. Oh, and you're mad on Sherlock Holmes. Mm. That's right, that's and right. And I was going to yeah. tell you the story, which you... Th yeah, the door. It's very quick. <laughs> Go on. Yeah. Uh, well, at Baker Street, um, Dr Watson had gone out... And Sherlock Holmes was decorating the outside of the house. And he was painting the front door yellow. And when Dr. Watson came back, he said, what on earth's going on here? Why have you done a yellow front? And, he, and Sherlock Holmes went, it's a lemon entry, dear Watson. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, that was all. <laughs> so is it, Jeanette? I've heard an adult version of that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, all it's right. It's a family show. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yes? Um, Jeanette, please. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jeanette. Yes. Yes. Another one from the top right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, what do you think to that? Lovely. I would have taken that this morning, I think. Yeah. Wife's here. <laughs> ah, I love it when he does all that stuff. His wife's turned up, but he's mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, on top of a very good start to the game, he's now got support. He's trying to uh, deduce. He was doing all Sherlock Holmes stuff there. It was quite fun. Uh, he's trying to deduce which way this is going to swing. Yep. And uh, it is finally balanced at this point. And he's wondering which way it's going to swing. For the moment, however, he's offering you £15,000. <laughs> It's a good offer. It's uh, a fair offer, I think. 
there's still a lot of blues to hit there. Um, I know it could swing. I'm not silly this round, you know, worst comes to worst, three of the four that are remaining, if they get hit, it could be a massive swing on his side. But then there's still all those blues that can be hit. So I'm ready for the question now. £15,000. Deal or no deal? No deal, no. Thank yeah. you, Carl. Great, under this system we know exactly yeah. where we're going. It's ladies first. Kyle, you've been a star. I really hope it's a blue. Doors. Kerry next. Kerry, yes, please, Mum. Good luck, Dad. <laughs> You've been a fab fella. It's all right. 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 I, I, I've got to apologise, but we do have this tradition of the one P kiss, and it has to be on I'm the lips, sorry. regardless of gender, actually. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. You didn't notice no, it? Sorry. Oh, right. Uh, he did actually say, seeing my wife isn't here. <laughs> <laughs> Kerry, yes, please. You stop trying to get my mate into trouble. <laughs> uh, what's the one thing you could say to get him into trouble? You actually heard what he said to Shell when he gave her the one P kiss. <laughs> you didn't see the kiss. I didn't hear what he said. Really? Yes. Apparently, he said to Shell, I'm so glad it's you. <laughs> I could have got Vic, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Thank you very much. Ooh, I like it, I like it. The one piece has gone. It would have been balanced, of course, if you had taken the quarter of a million rather than the 75,000. He therefore feels the need to increase his offer for box number three to 17,500. Yes. Your system's fab. It really is working for you. However, yes. it's crash and burn. Just remember there's two sides and as much as you can get caught up in the game, yep. that's no, a, no. a fab amount of money. No, so I just appreciate think that. about it. Yeah. That's your rival. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a great offer. You know, there's three massive numbers there. But then... How many times have we seen? There's the average is at his peak now. And that could really go down. And we're all, all afraid of one box games. Chase the money. There's still a lot of blues, isn't there? Are you ready? Not actually. No, I'm not actually. No. Can I just have one more minute? Yeah, of course. But then. <laughs> Part of you always wants to be, I don't care what anyone says, when you're the bloke and you're a man, you come up here, you want to be that first winner. I want to start my own gentleman's club of the £250,000 and that's the only way you get in with that box. I call it, call it greed, but it's just a male pride thing, I think. <laughs> you didn't want me to lick you then, did you? No, it's up to you. It's you, your, your decision. Actually, I think you should go. I think you should keep going. <laughs> oh, I liked the body lovely. language. Got green light. Lovely. Every blow always wants a green light. I've got a good board there. There's lots of blues to hit. I'm ready for the question now. 
They're 17 and a half thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal, no. I've got a blue for you, Carl. I'm going to let no do it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi. Um, could we have one of the six blues for you, please? Of course, you can have anything. Thank you very much, Sean. Thank you. Thank you. It's all right. It's all right. It's okay. Don't worry. I chose it. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. But you know, you've just created a very different atmosphere in a single box yeah. because I think there were quite a few of the pilgrims there who were beginning to think oh come on get on with it because it's such a strong board mm. and now actually you've just demonstrated how vulnerable you can become very quickly in this game mm. it's slightly nervy so you've you finished with your ladies yep and are you going back to the west wing or are we go in that way with the chaps I think I'm going to start off with tell please don't know about you but I'm slightly nervous now about this mm. game we definitely want to find 10p to balance it up thank you Sort of balanced it. Sort of. Yeah. But if you want to get the game back, the next one's got to be 10p. Yeah, no, you're right. Would you agree? I'd agree, yeah, definitely. But Thanks. come on, be honest. Yep. You had a very, very long think. I did, I did. About 17 and a half thousand. Yeah. Are you regretting declining it? I'm not, no. <laughs> you're I'm not? No, I'm not. Um, I want to be a bulldog who bites his banker and busts the bank. But you're not going to miss the next section to find out. If he can do it, see you shortly. his bulldogs so we had this bonding at the beginning of the game with the banker who's got a pair of bulldogs and uh, you did have a very strong start to the game yeah you turned down 17 and a half thousand before the break you said you had no regrets so Stephen is next to confirm that's right yeah Stephen thank you Stephen I hope this is a blue mate you've been a top fella let's make this one You declined 17 and a half thousand. You thought about it for ages. Yep. It felt as if you'd got a really powerful board there and you've taken the two top sums of the game out in one round. That is really bad luck. It's tough, it's tough. But on the other hand, there's 50 and there's 20 there. Yeah. yeah. 70,000 pounds. You just might have to go chasing it though. Yeah. Right. You're right. You did give him the green I light. Know. <laughs> no point in sitting there with your arms folded going, Oh, I wanted you to stop. You gave him the green light. Hello. Just over a 5% chance of doing what you've just done, Carl. So yeah, that is extremely unlucky. Okay, there's bound to be a crash after that. Yeah. You know, if the quarter mil goes, it's a it's a big drop. But when the hundred thousand goes as well, you were at seventeen and a half thousand. Your box is now worth two and a half thousand. It's a disappointment, but life goes on. Carl, on your yes, run, mate. You've got six boxes you can target now. Yeah, try and avoid them too. We've got six. Imagine the grands are blue. What are you thinking, Louise? Louise? Don't know. We might as well keep going. I'm thinking I've seen a lot of games change. 
when you go down, like I've just done, the odds 5%, that was low, low, low chance, gutted. But the game's still in play. I can still beat that 17 and a half if I get 20. Come on, guys. Um, I'm ready for the question now. Two and a half thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal, no. Thank you. It is a fact. The next offer is going to zing up if the remaining gentlemen of the East Wing provide you with what you need. James? Here it goes. It really helps. was made a thousand down so there's five to aim at here there is yeah you're right go with ben ben yes please here we go mate what a pleasure to meet you i really enjoyed it i hope i can help you out here yeah! this whole game can look so different if the next one is blue or the thousand. Russ? You miss sorry. Rob, I'm sorry, mate. I'm sorry, Rob. Carl, you're a great guy. I really hope you get something great out of this. Good luck. Unfortunate round followed by a very fortunate round that gives the banker a serious dilemma. Kyle, he says, I suggest you take this offer. <laughs> well, he is awful. Um, he, he thinks that you definitely ought to take uh, this offer because when I gave Louise, who unfortunately turned up late because of the traffic problems, a resume of what she'd missed, I did actually omit one little comment that you made sitting in the chair. <laughs> and he is, he is threatening to reveal that comment <laughs> if you do not take this offer. Okay? Yep. So, um... You're kind of thinking about selling a box and saving your marriage, really. I think, <laughs> I think that's where we are now, Kyle. Ten thousand pounds. That's a clever offer. That is a clever offer. Kyle, you could be in spanking territory here. Think seriously about twenty. <laughs> think seriously about ten thousand pounds. Spanky, spanky, mate. I'll tell you what I would do. If he rings back and he wants to tell my wife what he can reveal, he can tell her, but then he's got to up his offer to 14 grand. Having a negotiation, I love it. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> he said, "You said she was half-brained. I'll meet you halfway." Twelve grand. Twelve grand. Kyle, see who you're 
going to be putting your uh, trust in with the last box. <laughs> is that extra two thousand pounds worth it? I'm sure, it is. Yeah. Kyle, say you go on and take the, everything out apart from the fifty. Are you prepared to gamble whatever that's going to be? Yeah. I know. You know what I mean, mate? No one ready to question. Kyle. £12,000. Deal or no deal? Deal. Yeah, I know. I wanted to get that for as much as possible. That's the result of himself. Yeah. We're going to play on now and find out. Uh, I thought the phone might ring. And yeah. The, the, you were, he's going to drop you in it right at the end, I think. Um, OK. So it's Russ now, and uh, we flip everything over Russ. Now, we're not looking for 10p, £500. Uh, we're actually looking for 50000 Thank you. Manners maketh man a young man very good. No, 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 no. That was actually the perfect start if you had said no deal. Jason, it's now down to you to reveal £50,000. Yeah, because we, we'd have been really nervous about what Tristan is going to reveal here. Oh. Come on, Tristan, kill the game completely for him. Let's hope so. Kyle. Good luck, mate. No. £20,500 finish. Did you walk away from 20 grand? Hello. says, despite meeting you halfway in the last offer, he has absolutely no intention of revealing what you said about the beautiful Louise, because he is too much of a gentleman also. Oh. However, he's got a horrible feeling that you might well technically win this game, and therefore at this point, he would have said... Kyle, do you recall that the first night Louise wasn't here, you went to a strip club? <laughs> I know about that. You know about that? I know about that. And uh, he'd have offered you £8,000. Would you please take a seat? I hope you're good at sales. This is what you brought to the table beginning of your game. Oh, yes. He runs twice. Vic, could you please reveal 22 and close the game? 500 So, what are you thinking? If you'd gone all the way to the end, you would have doubled your money. I am gutted, because he beat me in the offer of 17 and a half. Uh, I couldn't go through that pain of the eight box. That would have been very painful. That that was a hard hit when I got the two fifty and the hundred thousand. I didn't want to get hit again, and I've got twelve thousand pounds. So I feel proud of that, and I can take my beautiful wife on a honeymoon. And also have a savings account, which we've never had before, to start a lovely family. Oh, good. Thank you. Excellent. So you've had a big impact on your life. Big impact. Great. 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 Yeah, real pleasure. I really like the way that you played the game. At which point are you going to reveal to Louise what you did say about her when she wasn't here? <laughs> I didn't say anything. You didn't say anything? No, no, of course. No, no. OK, then. <laughs> Kyle, I'm delighted that it is £12,000. Enjoy the money and the honeymoon.
what I said, so I'm going to say it again. These people have got to learn that one of the skills in this game is the relationship that you build with the banker. He played a very canny game indeed. It was actually, for these guys, a bit of a masterclass. I hope they've taken it on board. We'll see you over the weekend. Bye-bye. Also, Jan Street Porter and Greg Wallace, John Hugh Fernie Whittingstall for the big food fight.